What's up, guys? It's your girl Weirdo, and we're here for another episode um, of the vlog series. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, how I start my day is by waking up, uh, meditation or prayer, and if that's what you do, um, positive mantras. You know, reading books that help you achieve the goals that you want to achieve. For me, when I meditate in the morning, for me, when, when I start my day off right, then everything else kind of goes in line, you know? And just being positive. Ultimately, just knowing that life is the way that it is. And the things that you can change, change. But the things that you can't, keep living. That's how I start my day off. I started off right. Started off, started off positive for me. Um, the process of Movie Times Volume 1 um, was hard. Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry, y'all. I got, like, allergies, so. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah, so the process of, so the process of Movie Times Volume 1 was honestly hard. Because when I made Movie Times Volume 1, it was during COVID, and at that time, everything was shutting down. Like, when I was in North Carolina, I used to go to this pub, they had this music night. But when everything shut down, like, that pub night was gone, everything. So as far as even getting in touch with other musicians, it was just extremely hard. But for the most part, that's also why I did everything myself or for the most part, most of it myself. With the help, of course, the producers that I was in the studio with, or the engineers I was in the studio with. But, that shit, it was hard. It was hard trying to create it, because when you play with actual instruments, you have to make sure that your BPM is right, which is your beats per measure. You have to make sure your time is right, and your BPM is right, because if it's not, and you play actual instruments, you gotta re-record it, if it's not the right BPM. I remember I think I did Odes and Resolutions like three to four times and that was just off the New Year's mixtape. So <laughs> what funeral I think I did about two or three times. And we actually played around with the guitar because at first I wanted to do it in front of a mic. But a mic picks up like depending on how it expensive or how well the mic is, it's super sensitive. So it can take up on anything, on breathing and everything. And at the time with COVID, my allergies came and hit me full force too. So I'm sitting there literally congested as shit, trying to play this guitar while trying to breathe through my mouth. It just wasn't working. So we ended up just doing it kind of like just plugging it up, plugging the electric acoustic guitar up and then just strumming it into and, and into the uh, program to record it. But no, that crap was hard. It was hard finding time and finding people who were willing to put that time in because, again, COVID. <laughs> so, yeah, I would say Movie Time Volume 1, the process of it was difficult, but well worth it in the end. I hate that I didn't, I, I hate that I wasn't able to do, you know, um, a one year anniversary for it. And I think just my brother dying just kind of threw everything off. So. I got something special for the two year anniversary, which is this year. As far as getting into the music business, I'm still fairly new at getting into it. Just because even though I've always been a musician, getting into the business itself, especially your own, like coming up to VA and just to go the route I'm trying to go was extremely hard as is and the music business is a lot you know because you have people who are in it and they're not and they're in it not for really your best interest but for their best interest you know you have people who are trying to scam you especially now that a lot of things you know nowadays you have to have a good up upstanding um amount of followers which is also really hard to do Especially if you're thinking things from the music side, 
but not from a business side. Because there are so many musicians that I know that are really great at what they do, but they don't have a large following. They don't. Because they're only going at it from a musician-based way of thinking, not from a business side. And for me, that's kind of been my ordeal. I've always been on the music side of things and not so much the business side. So now I'm trying to promote myself. I'm trying to market myself. Why? Because I'm a, I'm a rapper on a budget. I'm going to be honest. I'm a humble rapper. <laughs> Full on. And, and I don't, I'm not going to lie about that shit. I mean, every rapper that you know or that, that's big now started on a fucking budget. If, if they even had a budget. <laughs> so as far as you know it's doing this if you really are trying to get into the music business and you're actually trying to become a professional in the music business it's hard it's hard be ready be accept that you're gonna have to take care of a lot of things yourself that you're not gonna get that help out there and yeah if you do if you're a personable person who does get that type of help and that's how you have those type of friends who are down for you that's really great that doesn't mean that everybody has that and just because one person has it doesn't mean you're gonna get it so you might have to do a lot of things yourself or I don't know think outside the box so yeah, I can only speak a little bit about that um why I have my hair in the afro I know this looks like a crazy ass curly ass afro like it's it does it's really curly it's not even trimmed in it to itself yeah like my curls are really tight curls but I wore my afro after the military actually like what started this whole ordeal when I got out I never really even before I was out I never had my hair in its natural afro for me it was always braided up or it was always down, you know, um, well, down and straightened, or down and straightened with a little curl or a little bump, but I never really had myself in an afro completely free of any chemicals necessarily, just things that help my hair grow, so to speak, naturally, and I don't know, one day I washed my hair, got out, and I just loved the way that my afro had looked and it never you know was much healthier you know I think back then anything but I just loved the way that my afro had looked and I loved the freedom that gave me personally because it's my hair you know and people always try to tell you what to do with your stuff but I wasn't letting anybody tell me what to do with my afro and yeah I've had some moments where I've been depressed and probably could do more with it but for me, this Afro and what it symbolizes is freedom. Freedom from anybody and their way of going about things. Freedom from the norm of society and what it tells us as black women to do with our hair. For me, that's what it's been about. Um, that's what it symbolizes. I don't have anybody tell me what to do with my hair. I do what I want with my hair, so to speak. And it may not be... Um, you know what most people accept but at the same time I accept it and that's really the whole point I accept it um, and yeah I, I plan on probably doing something with this hair but for the most part I like my afro I don't think it harms anybody I don't think it's unnecessary and I love that it's different you know not everybody's got my afro Everybody's got their own afro. And for the most part, not even many people are bold enough to wear their afro out there, wear your hair just like it is. When it's when it when it's been wet, when it hasn't been dried, no chemicals, nothing. That's bold. That's bold. And for me, I kinda do that. I allow my hair to grow and it's grown. My hair has grown a lot. So for those who are thinking about going the natural route, of course. Um, I would say do better than me as far as when it comes to taking care of your hair, your natural hair, but for the most part, I try to take care of it as much as I can. It's just really, really curly. Really curly. 
and don't let it fool you, it does move at the slightest touch, wind, everything, so, it's what you do with it, but for me, I feel like it's a way for people to indicate who I am as weirdo, in a, in a fuck society way. <laughs> To be honest, I don't want a following. Well, I do, but I don't. Like, I want a following of people who really <clears throat> will sit and listen. Because my music is the type of music where you have to to listen to it. You gotta, you might have to sit down, and you might have to just listen to it. And some of my music is bangers. Well, a good chunk of it is actually bangers. But you have to be willing to sit down and listen to it. You gotta be willing to check it out, you know? Um, <clears throat> I need people, or I mean, if anything, if I was gonna have followers, I'd want people who, who would really sit down and check out my music, who would really sit down and actually listen to what I'm saying. Like, music so many days now is, again, it's an abundance of it, um, which is a good thing and a bad thing, you know? But for me, my music is kind of like, it's like listening to any introspective album. You know, you just got to sit down and listen to it. You got to sit down and listen to it. It's like, you know, back before Kanye West had did all the shit that he did, you would have to sometimes listen to a Kanye West album to hear what he was saying, to hear the songs that he was speaking. It's the same way, you know, my, my music it's something that you just gotta, if you're in your car, you're driving, check it out, listen to it, you know, uh, but as far as a following, yeah, I want a following, but I want it to be of people who really are gonna fuck, listen to my shit and fuck with it, and I think anybody and everybody can fuck with it, but that's up to anybody and everybody, you know what I'm saying, I'm not gonna sit here and wait for you to listen to my music just because you you know what I'm saying you have your excuses of why you don't want to or maybe you forgot about it ultimately at the end of the day it's the same people who are like oh I forgot about it or I didn't listen to it and then suddenly and as an artist you get big and suddenly they're called they're the first ones to call your phone number and everything and be like oh yeah listen I love your shit oh I don't want to hear that once I'm up there (laughs) <laughs> you know how many people who will probably be saying that when I'm up there I don't want to hear that when I'm up there I want to hear it now <laughs> you know what I'm saying because I'm already making bangers right now with the three to four followers I've got on Spotify with the over 20 views or over 100 views that I've got on my songs just on SoundCloud <laughs> you know what I'm saying and yeah, it might not be a feat like over in the thousands, but one day I know it's going to get to that. Because it's only going to build. My shit's dope. It's only going to build. So it's like, if you hear it and you fuck with it, fuck with me now. Don't wait until I'm like up there and I'm, make, I'm doing things, I'm going places because I'm doing this shit myself. And then, you, you know what I'm saying? People want to get in and call me up and talk to me and all oh, your joke good and all that. Don't. Uh, as far as the following, though, yeah, I would like a single um, following people who, who who check me out and know that what I'm putting out is genuine and I'm putting things out for, for the betterment of not just myself, but if anybody else, for anybody else who might need to hear that, who might need to hear that message. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh... As far as that, yeah, that's it. I don't necessarily need a following, but yes, I would love a following. Who the fuck with me? Vibes. Good positive vibes. Um, I would say, <clears throat> sorry about that. I would say overcoming myself. My story is overcoming me. You know, um, I've, I, I've already talked about part of my my life and how I grew up, you know, but I say one thing I can say I think was a pro about being autistic at a young age, even if I didn't know about it, was 
seeing certain mistakes that people were saying don't make and not doing them because it was a mistake uh, but um I don't know one of the things that I absolutely love um love about you know it, understanding that especially at a young age because not many people understand that at a young age but it helps as far as with my story for me my story is overcoming me because I, I wasn't someone who maybe you know who who had the same um, or who's lived the same life as some of either my siblings or some of the my family members that I've had um, or that I've been close to in my life you know I know I, as far as having kids at an early age as far as being in a place where I was in a massive amount of debt um, for me it's ultimately my, my problem and my goal is becoming more financially stable um, and financially right um, going back to school and actually doing what I want to do as far as the music especially and um, audio engineering and whatnot um, and even going in the military which is a whole again a whole different story that who knows maybe I'll talk about in the vlog because um, that story <laughs> like that that's a whole different whole different ball game whole different lifestyle just military wise in general um, but that's my story I guess is overcoming myself trying to better myself um, from past things and one of the things the benefits that I have as far as being in Virginia even though it's hard being away from my niece who I love and I love being around even though it's hard being away from my family who I love and I love being around um, at the same time sometimes isolating yourself away from people and isolating yourself away from things allows you to focus on you and your flaws and for me that's really what's going on in my life right now it's focusing on all the things that I do that are necessarily bad habits and changing them into good habits so that I can do better and so that I can grow better so, anything that's my story Well, that's it for now as far as this vlog. Again, I'm trying to shorten it, so I hope I shorten it a little bit better. But check me out again next week. Hope you guys have a good day, good week, ultimately. And keep those vibes positive. You know, I gotta go do some weird shit. But.